This is what a US endgame for COVID-19 should look like, Fauci says speaking to Axios, Fauci said suppressing the virus is the endgame to the pandemic. Ideally, the US would get cases as low as possible, but a reasonable goal would be to get below 10,000 a day, he said. In mid-June, before the surge in cases driven by the more transmissible Delta variant, the US reached a seven-day average of about 11,000 new cases a day, according to Johns Hopkins University data. Dr. Paul Offit, the director of the Vaccine Education Center at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, said that Biden's announcement was an important step and that he put his finger right on what the problem is right now in this country. And some experts pushed for more. To be clear, the vaccine is the best tool we have to combat the pandemic but heavy-handed mandates are the wrong approach, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee said in a tweet Thursday. But even with both vaccination and mitigation measures in place, the endgame might not be complete eradication, said Dr. Ashish Jha, dean of the Brown University School of Public Health. Basically, it's going to end the day that we have achieved enough level of population immunity that the virus essentially becomes a nuisance and no longer a threat, Jha said Thursday. How the U.S. is tackling the virus changes to the COVID-19 response begin Friday when the maximum fine for violating the federal requirement to wear a face mask when traveling will double to a range of $500 to $3,000, up from $250-$1500. And to help COVID-19 patients who are impacted by the Delta variant surge, the U.S. is going to increase the availability of new treatments, including monoclonal antibodies, Biden said. He said the treatments have been shown to reduce the risk of hospitalization by up to 70 percent for unvaccinated people. Also on Thursday, the New York Police Department confirmed Thursday that any employee who does not get vaccinated or provide proof of a recent negative COVID test will not be allowed to work and will not get paid. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio also previously announced that any new hires for any New York City agencies will be required to be fully vaccinated. Having workers chose between vaccination or weekly testing will likely increase vaccination, White House COVID-19 response coordinator Jeff Science said Thursday. It's not convenient for most to get tested once per week, he added. Data expected on children's vaccines in the fall the vaccination effort is largely aimed at U.S. adults. But with school getting started around the country, many experts and parents are concerned about how children will be protected from the virus. Children have a lower risk of serious symptoms from COVID-19 but are not any less likely than adults to get infected in the first place, Tauchi said in a New York Times interview released Thursday. Los Angeles Unified School District hopes to curb spread among students by requiring all eligible children to be vaccinated by the end of the calendar year. The School Board of Education decided in a unanimous vote that children under the age of 12 are currently not eligible to be vaccinated. Data on Moderna's vaccine for younger age groups will likely be ready in late October or early November, following Pfizer's data which is expected by the end of September, Tauchi told the New York Times. After the data are presented, Tauchi said it is very likely the companies will apply for an emergency use authorization. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.